Hey everyone, today we would create a simple app that converts a temperature in Fahrenheit to Celsius. If I talk about the main things required, we would need the function that simply converts Fahrenheit to Celsius, that formula. Then we would need the user to input the temperature. For that, we would use the entry widget. We haven't talked about it yet, but it's very simple to use. And we would also have a button widget, which gives the output on being clicked. So it is a very simple app. Let's get to the code right away. I'll import Tinkter. So I'll write from Tinkter, import star. Then I'll get my window. I'll write win equals tk. I'll have a title. I'll write win.title. Let the title be temperature converter. Okay. Then I'll start adding the widgets. First, I'll add the frame on which I want that text box. So I'm declaring a frame for it because I also need to put in the label widget. I would need the symbol of degree Fahrenheit. So I would add that label to the same frame. Okay. So I'll write frame equals frame. And where do I want it? I want it on the window, so when as master. And I'll pack this, I'll write frame.grid and row equals zero and column equals zero. And I'll give in a padding, I'll write pad x equals 10. So there is no overlap on the screen boundaries. Okay, cool. Then I'll get that entry widget that text box how do i do that i'll write temp1 equals entry so that would allow the user to enter any text into that uh, text box okay and for the arguments where do i want it i want this entry widget on the frame so i'll write frame and width let it be 10 then I'll use grid, I'll write temp1.grid, row equals 0 and column equals 0, same as the frame, okay. And I'll have an f variable for that label, for that symbol of degree Fahrenheit, because I need to tell that this entered number is in Fahrenheit and that number would be converted into degree Celsius. So I need to give in the units. So I'll write F equals label and I want it on the frame. So I'll write frame comma text and this is something different. You might know it, you might not know it, but I can easily get degree Fahrenheit symbol by this. So I'll write in capitals degree Fahrenheit and there is a slash n before this and it's in inverted commas cool now i'll pack this too or should i say use grid so i'll write f dot grid and row would be zero and column would be one okay simple now we are done with the frame now i would need the button that would convert or that would call on to the function of conversion Okay, so first let me get the button. I'll write button equals button and window. I'll not get this on the frame. I'll just get it on the window. Okay, and text equals a right black arrow. So how can I do that? The similar way I got that degree Fahrenheit symbol. You can get numerous symbols like this. So here on the button, I'll get a rightwards black arrow. So I'll write in inverted comma slash n and a rightwards black arrow. Fine. For the command, I'll define the command in some time. First, let me make the function. And I'll give in a background color, let it be sky blue. Okay, that's it. So let me define this function, Fahrenheit to Celsius, that would be my function. So I'll write def Fahrenheit 
to Celsius and brackets. So I'll write f equals temp1 dot get. So whatever you entered here in the entry widget, you'll get it over here. Okay, that would be the value of this f variable. Okay, so then I'll get the C that stands for Celsius right now. I'll write 5 by 9. So this is the simple formula for conversion of Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'll write F and minus 32. Okay, I'll also convert this to float because there is a 5 by 9 clause. So I'll write float. Cool. And now I will display the C variable as the text of another label widget. So let's do that. I will have temp2, which would be the converted temperature, the temperature entered in degree Celsius. Okay. So I'll write temp2. This widget is not, this variable is not still declared in the main function. We will do that in some time. So temp2 in brackets text equals f and in inverted commas round c comma 2 to two places and curly braces closed. I'll also need that symbol of degree Celsius here just like we got that degree Fahrenheit symbol there. I would use that here too. So I'll write slash n and degree Celsius in capital. So now I'll get to the main function again. I'll write up this command. I'll write Fahrenheit to Celsius and I'll use grid for this button. I'll write convert button dot grid row equals zero column equals one and pad y equals ten fine and I need to define this temp two also okay so I'll write temp two it's the label initially let us keep it as degree Celsius symbol and then it would be reassigned every time we click on that button after we enter a value. Okay. So we have temp2 equals label again and win and text let it be slash n degree Celsius. Fine. And then I'll use grid to place it write temp2 dot grid row equals 0 column equals 2 and pad x equals 10 fine so i'm done with the app i'll call in the main loop i'll write win dot main loop and run this So I have my screen again, this temperature converted and let's try for 100 degrees Fahrenheit because we know it's 37.78 degrees Celsius. So I'll just write 100 and nothing else and I'll simply click on this button. So I have 37.78 degrees Celsius. So this temperature converter is working fine. Let's enter some other value. Let's enter zero. 0 degree Fahrenheit is minus 17.78 degrees Celsius and this would even work for negative values of Fahrenheit so I'll write minus 11 degree Fahrenheit so it would be minus 23.89 degrees Celsius cool so that's it about this app hope you understood everything thank you